Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and I am coming at you guys today with a quick little comparison between two popular highlighting and contour palettes which are the Cover FX as well as the Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys know contour kits are all the rave right now and everybody from Anastasia Beverly Hills to Becca are coming out with their very own highlighting and contouring kits. So I wanted to do a little comparison between two popular ones that I really wanted to try. Of course you guys saw that I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills in my last haul. But I also picked up the Cover FX um, during the B.I.B. sale. And I want to see how they compare. First up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It is in the color Deep. It comes with six shades. It has three lighter colors up top. One is for highlighting this one is more for correcting and this color could be for highlighting of someone who's a little bit deeper than me you can also use this to correct if you had to it's three contour shades they look almost similar like just looking at them but the colors are chocolate espresso and carob and carob is the deeper of the three and i used carob today and i used the highlighter in new now the cover fx packaging is smaller it's easier for travel in my opinion, but this one only comes with four shades. This one also comes with a mirror, a nice size mirror, but this one comes with four shades, a light highlighting shade. It also comes with a shimmer shade, which the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette does not come with. It comes with a lighter shade as well uh, uh, that you can contour with if you're of a lighter skin tone. But for me, this one actually probably matched my skin tone more than highlighting or contouring for me. So this one probably be like a concealer shade or a foundation shade for me and then it comes with a deeper shade to contour with now when you first open it it does look kind of orange once you start actually swatching in it it does show you the actual shade which is a very deep chocolate brown color one of the differences that I noticed was that the cover effects product was a lot creamier when applying it I didn't feel it tugging at my face it went on very smooth and it didn't take a lot of product with the Anastasia Beverly Hills it was more stiff more dry so it didn't go on as smooth and as creamy and it did take a little bit more product the shade that I got the cover FX contour kit in is in deep which stands for neutral deep with cover FX I believe they had six palettes I think it was six but they had like light medium medium tan medium deep something like that but they had like uh, G light or P light and medium like that because the P stand for pink, the G stand for golden, and the N stand for neutral. And I like that it was a neutral for deep because if you're in between undertones, like myself, sometimes more yellow undertone works for me and sometimes more red undertone works for me. So I am in between the two and I like that they have a neutral palette which will work for either or. As far as the contours, I did notice that the Anastasia Beverly Hills one was a lot warmer than the Cover FX. The Cover FX was cooler it had more of a grayer undertone to it in my opinion not really gray but more of a shadow looking undertone and it was like I said way easier to blend out it blend out with no problem I use micro beauty blenders to blend them out and the cover FX blended out seamlessly the Anastasia Beverly Hills blended out well as well but just not as creamy and smooth and still kept the same amount of product on the face so I really liked how the cover FX blended out I like that the packaging is smaller I like that it is cooler or neutral in undertones and I like that it came with a highlighter I do like that the Anastasia Beverly Hills comes with the corrector I like that it gives you more options especially if you're going to be contouring on someone else highlighting and contouring on someone else you'll have more options to use and I like the fact that they give you three contour shades you don't sometimes you don't always want to have the deepest contour you want to do something more light something more everyday um, when you're doing your nose you usually don't want to go as deep as you do and I did that today just because I was comparing them but normally I would not go as deep as I did when contouring my nose I would definitely use a lighter contour when I'm contouring my nose but yeah you have that option to use either three. Anastasia Beverly Hills kit is $40 and the cover FX is $48 so you get more product for less with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and you get what you pay for with the cover FX in my opinion so I would definitely recommend either one of these depending on what you wanted them for but for my personal everyday self I would use the cover FX over the Anastasia Beverly Hills so I don't know if you guys could see a difference in it I really can't see a difference once it all blended out and I set everything I really don't see a difference but 
let me know what you guys think let me know if you try either one of these and if you tried them both what which one did you like better let me know what you think of the one that you have and i will keep posted on you know if my opinion changes or anything so yeah i love you guys and i'll talk to y'all later bye Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what it is, shout it. Maybe, maybe it's the money, baby, maybe.